Today we have an update about the situation in eastern Ukraine. After initially concentrating their offensive efforts around Kyiv, Putin's soldiers have shifted their attention to the eastern region of Donbass and have begun to make headway there. Russian forces reportedly are now in control of about 80% of the region but the fighting is still ongoing in the area. News reports from the Ukrainian media said that the country's armed forces have once again destroyed a Russian military convoy using American-donated artillery. The footage published by the Ukrainian Armed Forces on Facebook clearly shows M777 howitzers of the Ukrainian 81st Airmobile Brigade pounding Russian equipment in the country's eastern region, destroying an MBT in addition to reportedly two IFVs. The M777 howitzers have been used effectively by the Ukrainian army. Earlier this week, Ukraine's National Guard also destroyed three of Russia's MLRS multiple rocket launch systems using the howitzers. The MLRS, rocket launchers that are mounted on self-propelled vehicles, were destroyed in the area around Severodonetsk, a strategic city in eastern Ukraine. The country's defense ministry shared a video on Twitter early Monday with the footage attributed to Ukraine's special operations forces. The footage showed an aerial view of the Russian MLRS sitting immobile on a stretch of land, and then going up in smoke and flames after being struck. Its intelligence provided by the country's special operations forces allowed the National Guard to successfully destroy the Russian MLRS, the ministry said. A week ago, the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, made the bold proclamation that the fierce war for Severodonetsk could ultimately decide the destiny of the entire Donbass area. The destruction of the Russian weapons systems may serve as a sign of progress in Ukraine's counter-offensive around Severodonetsk. On other development, Canada is reportedly to send 9 million Canadian dollar of replacement barrels for howitzer guns to Ukraine. Canada will provide 10 replacement barrels for M777 howitzer artillery guns to Ukraine in new military aid valued at 9 million Canadian dollar or 6.9 million in US dollar, the Canadian Defence Minister said on Wednesday, Reuters reported. We will continue to work around the clock to provide Ukraine with the comprehensive military aid that it needs to defend its sovereignty and security, Defence Minister Anita Anand said in a statement. Canada donated the M777 howitzers to Ukraine earlier and the replacement barrels are needed to maintain their distance range and accuracy. Canada, European Union, Great Britain, and the United States hope the West's upcoming surge of military assistance to Ukraine, along with Russia's increasing isolation on the world stage, will drain President Vladimir Putin's will to fight. The danger of Russia swallowing its neighbor and pursuing other revanchist ambitions is so high that Biden administration officials said they are willing to risk the global economic turmoil that could accompany a protracted war. Street fighting continued in the eastern city of Severodonetsk, with Russian airstrikes targeting areas near the city's bridges, and neighboring Lysyhansk also under heavy enemy fire, Luhansk regional governor Serhii Haidai said Saturday. Britain's defense ministry warned that Russia could use the unilateral declaration of humanitarian corridors around Severodonetsk as a mechanism to manipulate the battle space. Ukraine has notched some victories in the south, including a successful strike on a Russian tugboat with at least one U.S.-made Harpoon anti-ship missile, a U.S. defense official confirmed. A land-based anti-ship missile sank a Russian Navy tugboat unloading air defense missiles and service personnel on the Russian Federation-occupied Zemini Island, in the northwest Black Sea. According to Ukraine Armed Forces official announcement, the strike took place in the early hours of June 17 and hit the Russian ship as it was tied up at a pier. The naval forces of Ukraine have destroyed yet another, nothing like it anywhere in the world system this time aboard a tugboat carrying a TOR anti-aircraft system. 
The Russian Black Sea vessel Vasily Beck was hit while transporting ammunition, military materials, and military service personnel from the Black Sea Fleet, a Ukrainian Navy statement said in part. A video made public by the Ukrainian armed forces showed what appeared to be a low-flying missile detonating in a nighttime strike against a vessel next to a shoreline. It was not possible to determine the location of the images. There was no immediate public response from Russian government news platforms. According to news reports, the Vasily Beck weighed 1,605 tons and became a logistics and support ship for Russia's Black Sea Fleet in 2017. Maxim Marchenko, head of the Odessa Regional Defense Command, said a U.S.-built Harpoon anti-ship missile had struck the tugboat. The U.S. and Denmark have made public their delivery of Harpoon missiles to Ukraine. Some Ukrainian social media news channels claimed on Friday, June 17, without offering evidence, that the weapon used was a British-delivered Brimstone anti-ship missile. The RGM-84L4 Harpoon Block II missile, which Danish and Ukrainian media outlets had reported as operational in Ukraine in May, is a NATO standard long-range weapon with a reported range of 300 kilometers. Unlike the Brimstone, a lighter, short-range missile designed to take out motorboats and small commercial vessels, the Harpoon's primary mission is to sink major warships. Ukraine's version of the Harpoon, the domestically developed Neptune missile, critically damaged the missile cruiser Moskva, the Russian Black Sea Fleet's flagship, in a nighttime strike by two weapons on April 13. The Moskva had been patrolling near Zemini Island and sank on April 14. More than 300 sailors and officers on the Moskva reportedly died from injuries or drowning. Kremlin spokesmen have repeatedly denied the Ukrainian armed forces' involvement, claimed the Moskva had an accidental onboard fire and then sank in a storm, and that the vast majority of the crew were saved. Multiple international news sources and military analysts have said Ukrainian missiles sank the warship with a major loss of life. The TOR anti-aircraft system is a Russia-manufactured medium-range missile that NATO has called SA-15 Gauntlet. Since Russia's capture of Zemini in the first week of the war the Kremlin has, according to satellite photographs, systematically fortified ground and air defenses on the island. The armed forces of Ukraine have attempted to block the Russian forces build up by using combat jets and missile-armed drones, but strong Russian troops' air defenses and very limited numbers of Ukrainian attack bombers and strike drones have not seriously degraded the Russian troops' defenses on Zemini. Located near the Danube Delta and sea routes between Ukraine and the Mediterranean Sea, Zemini Island, along with air and naval units operating in its vicinity, is a key piece of Moscow's sea blockade strategy against Ukraine. Russia has threatened to use its military forces to attack any ship moving to or from Ukrainian ports, preventing Ukrainian grain from reaching international markets by seagoing ships, and importing fuel and weapons from reaching Ukraine by sea. According to regional security analysts, the U.S. and Danish-sourced harpoon missiles and launchers in Ukrainian military hands could, if deployed in sufficient numbers, undermine or even break Russia's sea blockade of Ukrainian seaports by forcing Russian warships out of western Black Sea waters within the range of harpoon missiles, and leaving Zemini Island isolated and vulnerable to attack by Ukrainian armed forces.